Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. I was on the Klein chat board and I saw that this um, gave a memory bank to Klein and what was required, let's go actually let's see if this works. It does. Okay, so here is the uh, custom instructions library. And if you read it, it says what it's supposed to do, uh, provide function, et cetera, et cetera. And what I did was I copied this. I copied uh, right here, client's custom instructions. That's what I copied. <clears throat> and I copied it into the Klein, uh, into the Klein memory bank, which is right here, Klein's custom instruction, Klein's memory bank, and you can see it's all in here. And uh, I just ran a new piece of code using Klein, and let's take a look, I'll click done. All right, so what I asked for uh, is, let me see if I can scroll up, there we go. Uh, here is my instruction. I wanted it to create a JSON schema based on this schema here. And when I ran it, uh, it Klein created an active context, product context, progress, systems pattern, and tech context. So that theoretically, when I run another command, uh, and Klein, it's going to read all of these files that were created uh, to update it accurately. So here is my main.py. Let's go ahead and just see what happens when I run it. Control Shift uh, tilde to activate the terminal. And we go like this, Python, and I go main pi, and here is the output. So, uh, contractor timeline, room cost report, and view custom data, add custom data, add or update data, delete data, exit, and let's go ahead and run the room cost report, R, and you can see that I have created a, a report of sorts. Now, what I want to do is I'm gonna tell Klein to write, a, uh, to update this function. Uh, let's just get the name of the function. Uh, actually, I'm not even call the name of the function. I'm going to uh, reference the name of it here and at main.py update the room cost report function prompt the uh, prompt the user to save the output as dot md uh, append the current uh, year year month month day day as part of the file name prompt user for name we'll just go with that and uh, click on start new task. Now theoretically, it's gonna go through and read the context. It's gonna read the active context. It's gonna read the tech context. It's going to read uh, progress MD, etc. And uh, now it's started, I guess. So the API cost so far is zero. 
And if I check my CPU, well, actually, it's, all right, so it did load the memory bank, which is the files that Klein, uh, that's in Klein Docs, which was created uh, in the, in this information here, right there from this GitHub custom instructions ins site here. I will include this link in the description below. And okay, it wants to read the file, I, I click approve. And yes, there is an auto approve, read, edit. Uh, I, for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to activate it just so we can walk through what's happening. Uh, for reference though, I am using, I am using Open Router to manage the API calls uh, with mixed results. Uh, okay, I don't know what changed, but I click save. And we still have, I just want to check, we still have 650 lines of code, which is good because sometimes uh, with Klein, I, it will erase all of my previous code because it doesn't have context, which is why I included, or when I saw the instructions for this context and progress, etc. I hope that Klein will now be more aware of my output requirements or my coding requirements. I'm going to run the command here. It's going to run a test. And now test seven, I'm not quite sure what test seven is supposed to do. Okay, test seven. Uh, no, it, it didn't run the whole, it didn't run the whole test. Okay, so click run command. And now I'm going to run the room cost report. And now it's prompting me to save it. I'm going to say, what uh, would you like to re export this as Markdown? Yes. Please enter my name. Wrong. Uh, we'll go ahead and enter my initials. And there it is. It got exported here. Cost room uh, report exported to room cost report. Room cost report. There it is. Uh, and I believe I said append the current. And that's what it did. It appended the current date time. Very good. We go to our directory. We go to our directory. Room cost report. And let's go ahead and close. Kill that. Close that. And now let's take a look at what the report looks like. Very nice. All right, so uh, it's looking pretty good. It's got all of my room data. It's all of my, uh, there's a room report, room report, room report, master bedroom, living, and then it included the contractor as well. So uh, that's pretty darn good. Summary, costs, contractor, project costs, uh, image, uh, you can see how much the item is going to cost per item. Pretty much exactly what I wanted, so I'm pleased with the results. How much of that is because of the context and the other active progress system, etc.? I don't know, but it's pretty good. Thanks for watching, uh, and big thanks to the Klein developers. Let's see, do they include their names up here? No. Uh, and I'm running, I am running 3.9. Uh, so big thanks to Klein devs and to the guy who wrote these, this document. Very useful. Thank you for watching. If this has been useful to you, please like, subscribe, share. It helps me. Uh, appreciate it. Thank you, and happy computing.